What's up guys? So the Samsung Galaxy S8 has been pretty dang durable. Let's go a little bit crazier on the freeze test and do liquid nitrogen. This is the first time I'm actually doing this on my channel, so I don't really know what to expect here, but we're gonna dunk these guys in liquid nitrogen, see if they survive for how long really and just what happens. Of course, necessary precautions. And uh, our container here, spooky science liquid nitrogen gas. So let's just uh, have a little demo here, whatever we could find around the shop. There we go. Let's see what happens to the flower. Oh, it's frozen. Literally, you can like crunch it up just like that. Interesting. Here's a sponge. I don't really know if this will do anything to this. Properly frozen sponge. Can I? Oh, it can. Literally just breaks in half. That's crazy. And the iPhone. Sturdy. Nothing really wrong. Well, the clone iPhone anyways. How do you like that? I feel so diabolical here. And round three. Hear that crackling? Let's do another one. Not what I expected. Oh, that's just a thin film. Ah. <laughs> I thought there would be more, but I guess not. Enough with the tests. Let's do the final one here, starting with the iPhone 7. So these proved to be pretty resilient to the cold today. That was negative 35. I believe liquid nitrogen gets up to 180 something, close to negative 200. So I guess uh, let's find out. Wow, just a big amount of ice left in here. I'm actually gonna start recording on this, see what it sees. All right, here we go. iPhone, your days are numbered. Ooh. Fogged up, and that was a whole bunch of liquid nitrogen. Fill it up. Go for round two. I would not be surprised if the display just cracked. It seems to be working still, amazingly. And one more dose. Wow. How oh, look at that. It's like ghosting. Ooh, it just died. Okay. I think that was a little too much cold for this guy. What? Okay, just died on me right now, so I guess we'll set it down. I don't know if I'll be able to recover that footage. Nothing like physically cracked or broke. Try powering it on. I think it's toast. Oh, battery died. Connect battery. Look, it still has the camera logo while it was dead. That was so funny. What? Let's see if I can get it to show up again. It literally showed the camera logo burning right there <laughs> on the uh, startup screen with the Apple logo. So I guess I'll set this aside while it recovers, but it's really, really frosty. So time for you, Samsung Galaxy. Let's see if we can uh, get some footage here going. All right. And very same treatment. Get one of these full of liquid nitrogen. So far, so good. That was so interesting. Like at the very end before it died, it had this ghosting effect. A lot like when you uh, apply an EMP to an iPhone. Another one. Seems to be doing pretty good. Boiling in that liquid nitrogen. Another one. Ooh, I heard a big crack. I'm not sure what that was. Um, probably the bubbles. I don't think it's affecting it yet. Oh, I should not have done that. Still recording, but I'm starting to see a lot of frost inside the display. And one more to make it fair. Sorry, buddy. Ooh. 
Oh, it's like encased in ice. Sorry. Oh, the display is dying. Very same thing. And it's dead. Oh, the whole front of the phone cracked. Oh, check this out. It just expanded the whole inside of the phone and the, the cover just came off. What? Alrighty then. So I guess the rubber seals uh, were too brittle and it broke off. And here's the camera lens cover, which just magically fell off. That's the wireless charging. Well, that's one way to tear down a phone and check out what's inside. Oh, front. The, it got in underneath the display. You can see a lot of the, uh, like there's ice trapped inside. I did not think it would be this bad. I thought it would seriously survive it. Um, the LCD underneath, interestingly enough, is cracked, but not the exterior one. Ooh, that's still really, really cold. Let's see if I could power it on. Nope, there's like water behind the button. I can't even physically press it, ouch. I guess we'll give these some time, but both are still absolutely frozen and encased in ice. So, um, let's see if I could power the iPhone on. Oh. We have life. The iPhone has decided to power on. I'm not seeing any signs of the damage we just saw a second ago. This one, even if it decides to power on, will be really screwed up. Ouch. So iPhone is alive. Home button is even working. What? Check that out. It's like in slow motion. All the animations are slowed down. What? Are you serious? Okay, and it's dead again. So apparently cooling your device down will literally slow down the OS. I was able to get it to start. And no such luck anymore. Let's try this one now. Um, I think that's it. I can press the button now at least. Let's give it uh, five, 10 minutes and I'll be right back once they're more or less warmed up. All right, so it's been about five to 10 minutes and let's see if the iPhone powers on at this point. It's had enough time, I think, to recover, and it does. How about the Galaxy? Attempting to power it on. Oh, sweet, yes. So it's such an interesting uh, phenomenon how this works. Like a lot of water got underneath, through the defenses, underneath the glass, and literally cracked the LCD or Whatever that is, it just looks like a bunch of spiderweb cracks. It might be the outside glass, bottom layer or something. It's very interesting. Look at that. I think this phone is super uh, slow too. Oh no. This one will have some weird effect where it's still doing that. It's like ghosting. Not so much anymore, but a little bit. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, look at that. It looks like at this point in time, both phones are alive. Both are surviving. Uh, the iPhone though seems to be unscathed whatsoever. Sure, it did cool down. It had some really crazy effect going on with the display, but seems to be more or less alive without any lasting damage. This will need a new display. So as you can see, there's a bunch of spider web cracks. Very interesting. But all right, guys, so there it is. Liquid nitrogen is not a good mix with your Galaxy. With your iPhone though, I'd have to say, you know, you can do it if you want for fun certainly uh, wouldn't hurt it. And just for one last hurrah, let's go ahead and deep freeze the Galaxy from the drop test and smash it, see how it shatters. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus from the earlier tests. It is still working. So the screen itself just stopped working. So let's freeze the crap out of this. Just uh, pour a crap ton of liquid nitrogen on here. Man, these things are so thin, like the glass on them, that they crack just from the boiling alone. Let's keep going. I really want this thing to freeze. Oh man, that's like a sea of liquid nitrogen. Holy crap. So, oh, oh, oh shit, the lithium battery. Damn. That I was not expecting, holy crap. The lithium battery literally expanded like crazy. Yeah, I think the lithium battery expanded here.
All right, here we go. In three, two, oh, shit. In three, two, Three, two. Okay, let's take a look at the damage. So it literally snapped the frame in half, like a chunk. I wonder if I could break it off with my hand. No. But that aluminum got so cold, it literally snapped, not dented, not bent. Wow. Hey, the logic board is still good. If anyone needs one, hit me up. So yeah, guys, there's that. There's our wireless charging pad and the glass casing, which is just a sticker now, the rest cracked. So it wasn't actually the battery that expanded. That's still good, thank goodness. I would hate to deal with that. So there seems to be a lot of extra shielding on it and a controller right on the battery to probably prevent it from expanding and exploding like the Note 7. I mean, this thing was toast anyways, bent, broken, so why not go out with a bang? All right, guys, peace.